whether it is bollywood or sports short people are everywhere but being short in school or family is always a cause of concern not only for child but also for family so today's video is all about short stature we are going to learn definition causes and approach to short stature in this video do not skip anything watch till end hi i'm dr triya virani malde pediatrician and consultant neonatologist and i'll be your guide for pediatric subject if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and give like to this video because lot is going to happen for pediatric on this channel so first question arise what is short stature obviously it is short stature so it is in reference to height but when do we call it short stature first of all we have to take a measurement of height once we have that measurement of the height we need to put that figure in the centile child chart or a growth chart if it falls below the third centile or less than minus 2 standard deviation below the mean for age and gender then we call that this child is short so these are the chart which is available for ease of your understanding it is a bigger chart for you we need to put a value on this chart suppose we are having a child who is 1 year of age and is his height is around 65 then definitely it is below the third centile and we are dealing the child who is suffering from short stature now the next question arises what are the causes of short stature first of all this is only for the etiological classification it is has nothing to do with the approach so it could be physiological short stature like normal variant that is familial short stature and cdgp it could be pathological what are the pathological causes divided further primary causes or a secondary causes primary means child is born with some kind of issue and that's why he is not growing well those are intrauterine growth retardation small for gestational age if the mother has some issue with the uh, torch and the child has uh, encountered the torch during the pregnancy and now he is suffering from the sequelae genetic causes are the mnemonic is std seckel syndrome turner syndrome and down syndrome while if you see the secondary causes those are all acquired after the birth of the child those are malnutrition chronic systemic disease like uh, a uh, celiac disease chronic renal disease and all those can also cause a growth failure now this three important causes is related to endocrine system and these are growth hormone deficiency cushing syndrome hypothyroidism and last but not least uh, psychosocial dwarfism that is when the child is not getting enough tender loving care maternal deprivation of or the child is coming from the orphanage this is a very important entity to be kept in a mind gh deficiency is very important for us to remember so after discussing the etiological classification of short stature we are going to learn how to approach the short stature we are going to approach in a, in a four uh, steps first of all if we are confirmed with the diagnosis of short stature we are going to measure upper segment to lower segment ratio then we are going to determine the growth velocity of the child then bone age and then target height or a mean parental height so this is a chart which we need to keep in our mind whenever we are having a short stature and we are going to do the approach first of all we need to measure the upper segment and lower segment ratio upper segment and lower segment ratio has been already discussed in previous lecture if you are not gone through it please go through it first of all we should know whether it is normal or not normal if it is abnormal we are going to discuss in next side if it is a normal ratio then it is a proportionate short stature is mean that limb trunk as well as the limb all part is proportionately short and this happen first of all very important cause is a normal variant that is uh, familial short stature and constitutional delay in growth and puberty second important cause are all primary causes those are intrauterine causes iugr sga torch and genetic these are acquired which already has been discussed in a previous slide malnutrition growth hormone deficiency cushing syndrome 
chronic systemic disease and psychosocial dwarfism here please remember that growth hormone deficiency is very important cause of a proportionate short stature okay gh deficiency has to be kept in our mind because it causes proportionate short stature what are the causes of disproportionate short stature here we need to t- take the upper segment to lower segment ratio if upper segment to lower segment ratio is advanced then it is short limbed dwarfism and this is seen in achondroplasia chondro dysplasia punctate rickets osteogenesis imperfecta and hypothyroidism here the limbs are more shorter than the trunk and what are the causes of short trunk dwarfism here we are having upper segment to lower segment ratio this is low these are the condition which primarily affect the vertebra spondyloepiphyseal dysplasia mucopolysaccharidosis cox spine hemivertebra and mucolipidosis so our first step is over that we have measured the upper segment and lower segment ratio we are knowing that it is proportionate short stature now we are going to learn how to calculate a growth velocity so the st- second step is to calculate growth velocity so what is growth velocity it is a periodic measurement of the height of the child and it is plotted on the growth chart to see whether the child is following a curve or not i mean whether the pe- over a period of child child is gaining height or not suppose we are having a child at 1 year of age though he is less than 3rd centile his height was 55 or 60 and now it is increasing like now it is 70 now after that it is 75 any increment is good increment it is increasing and it is following his uh, own uh, growth line so whenever when we call it growth velocity normal he is gaining height normally but still it is less than third centile okay so our second step is over we have calculated lsuh ratio and now we have calculated gv also now our third important part is to see the bone age bone age estimation already been discussed in previous series please go through it if you have not gone through link is in the description box once we decided that velocity is normal and bone age is delayed delayed lesser than the chronological age then it is a constitutional delay in growth and puberty but if the bone age is also normal we are dealing with the familial short stature we are going to come into the detail about this two condition in upcoming slides so do not skip watch till end so we should know what are the condition in which we will not have a normal uh, growth velocity those are all uh, Uh, pathological condition like SCA, genetic, secondary causes, endocrine, nutritional, hypothyroidism, growth hormone internal. Here the growth velocity is severely affected. Now uh, uh, discussing the growth velocity and uh, bone age, we are going to learn how to calculate target height. so for calculation of the target height we need to take a height of father and mother for girls we need to minus 6.5 out of it for boys we need to plus 6.5 so mother side plus father side minus 13 divided by 2 for boys it is mother side plus father side plus 13 divided by 2 so whatever figure will come suppose the f- target height is 152 cm for for that particular child child so we are going to put that number here and 6.5 on either side has to be kept and then the line has to be drawn back like this and he we have to see that the child is following this curve or not at one year whether the height is falling between this range or not so we can say that child is following the genetic potential given by you by his parents so target height is this much and child is following this growth curves for his own growth so now it is fourth mid parental height is also normal then we are having familial short stature so 
upper segment to lower segment ratio is normal growth velocity is normal bone age is normal and target heart height is also normal for the child then we are having child who is suffering from familial short stature now other way around there is a normal upper segment to lower segment ratio correct there is normal growth velocity but bone age is delayed then we are having a child who is having cbgp now we are going to discuss a very few points for familial short stature it is many a time asked in exam please pay attention over here mnemonic to remember is family fits family short child is short whole family is also short so it is short and fits but these three things are normal puberty is normal bone age is normal and birth height height is also normal final heart is short but it is within a expected range and there is a strong family history of the short stature but it follows the one specific growth curve like this child is going to remain short and his final height also will be a shorter for the like lesser than the third centile but it is within a normal range for that particular child as reference to the target height now what about constitutional delay in growth and puberty you have to remember the late bloomer they are going to achieve the final height but late height is lesser than the normal but final is normal there is a delay in the bone age delay in the puberty and family history of the similar growth pattern if you ask the family history they'll tell you that the father is also having short but after the pubertal spot he has gained a normal height and the weight so parents are looking average they are not shorter here two things are delayed bone age is delayed and puberty is delayed because the word is delay constitutional delay is having delay in its formation so you have to remember like that family fits family short short cdgp delay is there so bone age is delayed as well as puberty is also delayed whenever there will be a growth spurt the child is going to cross the centile and final height achieved is normal so all family is happy length at the birth for fss that familial short stature is normal maybe for cdgp it is abnormal family history is positive for short stature here it is negative delayed puberty there is no delayed puberty here it is positive history normal bone age and normal puberty here it is delayed final height is short but it is within target here it is normal due to pubertal spurt so now again it's a trivia time we are going to discuss few multiple choice question question number 1 which of the following statement regarding familial short stature is incorrect puberty is delayed we have to we have to uh, take a wrong statement out of this puberty is delayed bone age is normal c growth slows from the birth and growth hormone levels are normal so our correct answer is a puberty is delayed familial short stature the puberty is normal bone age is normal growth is slow from the birth and her hormone levels are also normal so correct answer is puberty is delayed question number 3 is child growth velocity is normal but bone age is delayed bone development is not according to the chronological age it means ba is less than ca it could be genetic dwarf, genetic it could be dwarfism it could be constitutional delay or it could be fss here it's a catch velocity is normal in genetic it could not be normal dwarfism it could not be but whenever with these two condition are there our velocity is normal but whenever bone age is equal to chronological age it is familial short stature and whenever there is a delay in bone age it is constitutional delay so correct answer is constitutional delay question number 4 a child is below the third centile for the height his growth velocity is normal but chronological is more age is more than the skeletal age <coughs> do not get confused they are saying the bone age is delayed nothing else okay now to catch they have told third centile less than third centile it means it is short stature velocity is normal it means gv is normal but bone age is delayed it could be hypopituitarism 
बी प्राइमोरियल ड्राफिज्म कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल डिले और जीनेटिक शॉर्ट स्टेचर दिस टू आर आउट बिकॉज दिस टू विल नॉट प्रेजेंट लाइक दिस दे आर ऑ हैविंग आई दर प्रॉब्लम विद द यू एस एल एस रेशो और इट कुड बी अ जी वी प्रॉब्लम आई दर इट कुड बी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल डिले और जीनेटिक शॉर्ट स्ट्रेचर जीनेटिक शॉर्ट स्ट्रेचर कुड नॉट बी देयर बिकॉज बी ए शुड बी इक्वल टू सी ए हियर इट इज लेस सो अवर करेंट आंसर इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल डिले क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ शॉर्ट स्ट्रेचर इज हाइपोपिट्यूटरिज्म कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल डिले सी जीनेटिक शॉर्ट स्ट्रेचर और इट इज हॉर्म ग्रोथ हॉर्मन डेफिशियंसी वी ऑल नो द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज फॉर द शॉर्ट स्ट्रेचर इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल डिले इन ग्रोथ एंड प्यूबर्टी इट इज वेरी मच प्रिवलेंट एवरीवेयर इट्स अ लास्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ट्रू अबाउट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल ग्रोथ डिले इट्स अ ट्रू सो फॉर सी डी जी पी वी नीड टू फाइंड द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट न्यूनेट विथ सी डी जी पी हैज एबनॉर्मलिटी एट बर्थ पेरेंट्स आर ऑल्सो स्टंटेड बोन एज इज नॉर्मल एंड प्यूबर्टी इज डिलेड Puberty is delayed, correct. Bone age are normal? No, bone age is not normal. It is delayed. Parents are also stunted. No, parents are not stunted. Neonate STDGP were have abnormality at birth? No, they'll not have abnormality or at time of the birth. So correct treatment is puberty is. that conclude our uh, approach to a short stager i have covered two important condition in this video that is uh, fss and cdgp in upcoming video we are going to discuss growth hormone deficiency i hope you all learnt well and understood well your suggestions are always welcome and please let me know what else you would like to learn from me till that time take care of yourself study hard as well as study smart bye